Hi there, my name is Quinn and welcome to How to Start an FTC Team. Creating an FTC team is very simple. First, you need to find a group of students, friends, or like-minded kids in your community from 12 to 18 years old. Your group can be whatever size you want as teams range from two all the way up to 15 people. There are many ways to get kids interested, from making flyers to promoting your team at a school engineering class. It is important to look for people who have different interests within the scope of FTC. You will need programmers, builders, designers, speakers, and more. First is a learning experience. And so it's okay if not all participants are experts within their interests, but it's important to diversify your team's skill set. Next, you need to find a coach for your team. A coach can be anyone from a parent or a member in the community who is capable of providing guidance and motivating the team throughout the entire season. Now, you want to reach out to your local first teams and regional coordinators. You can find local first teams using the website Orange Alliance, which will be linked in the description. If you type in your town, you can find local teams in your area. From there, you can click on their linked website or you can use their team name and number to look for their social media accounts and contact them there. The FTC Discord and Reddit are also another great way to contact teams. and It is a fantastic resource to answer any questions you may have. Teams and First are often very willing to help out new teams and will go to great lengths to provide valuable insights on setting up a First team. You can also enlist the help of other established First teams to become your mentor team and they will act like your coach slash mentor and they will help guide you through every step of the process during the first season. Now, it is time to register your first team. Have your mentor and students click on the link in the description that says create first account. Once the mentor goes through the account creation process, they will need to go to their dashboard and press create a new team. Have your mentor sign up as the lead coach slash mentor and press first tech challenge. Then continue to and fill out the following forms. After that, they must select if they're a community organization or a school-based organization. Select the option that most suits you. Once that is selected, you have the opportunity to add a second lead coach or mentor. Now you will have a temporary team number. You will get your permanent number once your registration fee for this season has been paid. Note that some leagues might have free registration, so always check before registering. Don't worry, we are almost there. We just have a few steps to go. You need to set up profile information and then sign the first consent and release form. All of these can be found in the dashboard or in the drop down under your name. For a very in depth description explaining all the different options and features, like tax exempt and administrators, First has made an excellent video describing the intricacies of registering a team. Now it is time for the students to register for their team. Once they've created their account, they go to the dashboard, press apply to teams, and put in their team number. The students must sign the acknowledgement forms and then the mentor must accept their applications in the team. And now, you are done with registration. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to check out some of our other videos that go more in depth on the other parts of having an FTC team.